Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'll be talking about reverse function in your SAS. So reverse is a character function. So in general, reverse means change of direction, right? Like from left to right became your right to left, like that. So even in SAS, your reverse function works exactly the same. So what and all it does? It does two things. One, it will reverse your character string. And the other thing, it will reverse the blanks also. That means like if you had leading blank, okay, that will, you know, be shifted to your trailing blank. And if you had trailing blank, that will be shifted to your leading blank like that. Okay, so it will reverse everything, even your string, even your blanks. Now, if I see the syntax, it is very simple. Variable name is equal to reverse and in parenthesis, you will write your string or your argument. So let's say, let's give an example for it. So I have a one data set. Okay, I'll just put it in comment part. Yeah, data, some data set name. Let's say I have X is equal to A, B, C, D. Okay, now I want to reverse it. So what will reverse to for your string X? So your A, B, C, D will become your D, C, B, A, right? So that is what reverse meaning is. See, A, B, C, D became your D, C, B, A, right? Now, so the first thing is done. Now it can also reverse your blank as I told you. So let's see one example for it. Now I'm giving it many trailing blank, right? I've given a lot of trailing blank. So now that trailing blank after using reverse, it should get converted to your leading blank. So let's see if it happens. See, A, B, C, D with your trailing blanks. But can you see DCBA with your leading blanks? So your trailing blanks are converted to your leading blank and even vice versa can be done. Okay. So I hope my video is clear to all of you. Thank you everyone for watching my videos. Please subscribe to my channel.